Welcome back. Trying to avoid the clickbait titles here, but boy, I definitely saw FSD sue something on this drive that I've never seen before, and I'm sure you guys will uh, get a kick out of it. Uh, check out the bookmarks attached and you'll see exactly where this pops up. Tesla employees are currently testing out version 12.4 of FSD while we're still on 12.3.6. This drive will exhibit the full range of behaviors on Tesla's latest public version of FSD and I'm sure you'll find this drive very informative. To start off with, uh, great job waiting on the pedestrians and for traffic to clear up there before leaving the parking lot. Uh, what you're seeing though there is me pointing is uh, one of the main issues with the current version of FSD in that the acceleration from the stop signs on auto speed adjust can sometimes be a bit excessive and put you in danger of uh, getting a ticket. This is not consistent behavior but it happens enough times to make note and be cautious. Here you can see a nice gradual stop at the stop sign which I enjoy. It's a good job with that. And again, now take a look at the acceleration. This one was okay, right? So now the speed limit's noted at 40. We're going up to 45, so that's okay. I had a drive earlier today where it was 40 and, and it accelerated into like the mid 50s. So um, again, it's a little bit inconsistent there. Driving down this street here, uh, narrow lanes, we're gonna have some markers coming up here. Um, those markers are set up specifically to keep traffic uh, close to 40 kilometers an hour. And we'll see how uh, FSD manages that. You can see there it slows down a little bit when it sees that parked vehicle there on the side. Probably slowed it down just a little bit because it doesn't know if there's gonna be any pedestrians or anybody in front of it. So it shows a little bit of extra caution there, which is uh, very natural. That's what I would do and that's what most people would do. All right, again, nice gradual stop. I'm really paying attention these days to see how the stops are. Um, there's nothing that really can take you, you know, jolt you out of the enjoyment of FSD um, like a very sharp stop. So uh, I like to see that. Okay, now we're gonna get through these two markers here. Take a look at the speed. No issues there. It's a, no, actually, you saw right at the air, it slowed down. Again, it, I was going 44, and just as I got through those markers, it quickly decelerated to the mid-30s there. Let's see how it does it here. We're going 39. You can see it's slowing down a little bit. So, again, sometimes there's a little bit of inconsistent behavior there. Sometimes it goes through those with no issues, and sometimes, um, because it is a, a tight fit between those markers, it slows down. So it'd be good to see a little bit of consistency there, but um, I was okay with that behavior. Good stop there, waited its turn. I actually really like that because at that four way stop, there was another vehicle that was on my left and we pretty much stopped at the same time and FSD didn't wait around, it just kind of went for it, which is fine. Had no issues with doing that. We're gonna be coming up to a left turn now. Again, I'm taking note of the speed. Okay, negotiating this bend very well, staying, staying nice and centered in the lane. Now gradually stopping, signaling well in advance to the left. Got some workers in front of us there, so it's being cautious with them crossing the street. All right, take a look here. You're gonna have some vehicles here coming from the right. They're gonna be making a left turn here and they're gonna to try to make that left turn and beat their red light there. Let's look what happens here when they make, okay, right now they've already hit their red light. They're trying to make their left turn quickly. Now look what happens. You see how I start accelerating there? My green light started and FSD actually started pushing me forward before that car had completely cleared me. So it made it a little bit close, maybe slightly uncomfortable there. Um, I am driving in an assertive mode, so I guess that's why it kind of pushed me out there a little bit quicker than I normally would have uh, experienced. But uh, really what it should do is wait till that vehicle that was turning left uh, perfectly cleared me, completely cleared me, and then accelerate forward so something I'm noting there okay we're gonna be turning right here and then we're gonna have to do a quick left turn after that nice deceleration okay we're gonna to have to get into the left lane because we're gonna be turning very soon at the next street you can look at the map here on my screen and you can see I have to turn left here now this is where FSD is gonna do something that I've never seen before. Take a look at where I'm supposed to be going. Okay, it does the right thing there, gets me into that left turn lane. Now it's deciding whether or not it wants to go or not. 
and it can't make a decision there and it kind of swerves left and right and then it just takes over and starts taking an alternative route L look at that you see it's now changed me to the next street which is i don't know about a kilometer away and i've never seen that before you know i can understand that okay it's a little bit indecisive there but it should have just stayed in the left turn lane uh, but no what happens is it just got very impatient or got confused and this uh, started taking me to the alternative route i've never ever seen that before now i took over here right now just because i, I could see behind me there was an emergency vehicle that was on the left now i've reactivated again because i don't think the emergency vehicle is going to catch up you see all these vehicles on the left are trying to stay ahead of that emergency vehicle. So FSD is now pushing me over into the mid 80s, even though the speed limit here is 60. I've got a vehicle behind me that's just driving up my ass as well. So FSD is just gunning it right now. I'm gonna have to turn left here. So let's see how it swings into this left turn lane. Yeah, and, and it's gonna have to do it before these lanes um, before the, the dotted lines go up. Otherwise, it's just going to be too fast. And again, you can see there's this vehicle that just just blows right by me from behind and he swerved over to the right. Now, FSD is doing the right thing right now. It's got this bus in front of me. The bus has got the blinkers going, but it wasn't moving. So FSD actually did an excellent job there. It determined that that bus wasn't going to be moving and made the left turn there. So that was a very exciting uh, 30 seconds or so. Um, really, some behavior I've never, ever experienced before. And if, if this has ever happened to you, please leave a comment below because uh, that's a first off for me. I don't know why I did that. Anyways, driving down here through some winding roads. FSD usually does a very good job driving down uh, in this development. We've got a narrow roads, speed limits 50. Um, the auto adjust usually does a very good job here. When the roads are bending, it slows down appropriately. Now that they straighten out, there's no vehicles. The, the speed has been picked up. We're going around 46 right now in a 50 zone. I'm okay with that. It's doing a good job with it. All right, we have an oncoming vehicle here. Take a look at the speed, no issues. And it really shouldn't have to slow down. I mean, the, it's oncoming traffic, but it's nothing dangerous. So it should just uh, proceed as normal. You can see now the speed is uh, moved up to about 53. So it's doing a good job with that. Our next turn is going to be a left turn. You can see coming up on the map there. Nice gradual slow down there. Nothing too jarring. No vehicles in front of us. Let's see how it takes the left turn. Good job with that. Very good. Nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. You saw there, we had a pedestrian there on the right. It slowed down to about 39. Again, there's no sidewalk here, so I'm okay with it slowing down. No issues with that. I'm sure the pedestrian appreciates that as well. I'm gonna do a slight bend to the right here, looking at the speed. Nice and consistent. Again, these uh, these roads have no sidewalks and there's usually lots of pedestrians. Well, not lots, but a few pedestrians who are walking there, usually walking their dogs. So I'm okay with it, managing the speed and not going too fast. Okay, we've got here a uh, landscaper in front of us. So FSD does a good job there with signaling, going around there. I like when it signals and does that. That's the right thing to do. It shouldn't just swerve around that vehicle. You know, if there's someone behind you, it's good to let them know, hey, I'm gonna go around this vehicle, I'm gonna signal left. No issues there. Very good. We get our little mini little roundabout here. Nice and comfortable, nice and smooth. Okay, as we get to the end of our drive here, uh, FSD is going to have to take my vehicle through this very busy street up ahead. It's going to have a lot of traffic coming from the left and right. Uh, it's getting to a busy time of the day here, so we're going to see how FSD manages the volume of traffic. Let's see where it stops. Stops. Right. Good job there. Stopping well in front of the stop sign, but it's going to have to creep forward in order to get a better view of those vehicles. As you can see, lots of traffic there coming from both sides. It's being very patient right now which is good. You know, one of the things it used to do in version 11 is it used to keep inching out bit by bit, creeping out. And I know when uh, oncoming traffic would see my vehicle, they would feel a little bit uh, apprehensive when they would see that. And I felt very nervous as well, but uh, FSD really has improved that quite a bit since moving to version 12. Right, every single time we think there's a, uh, an open spot there, some more vehicles come there, but FSD is doing the right thing. It's being nice and patient. Here's another thing that's going on. I can see that there's a cyclist there coming on the right. So even when it opens up, FSD is going to be waiting probably for that cyclist, which is the right thing to do. 
Gonna just wait to see what happens with that cyclist there, if it goes in front of me or behind. As right, so you can see on the map there, you can see the cyclist, you can see the cyclist went behind me and FSD accelerates very nice, very pronounced acceleration through there. So it did an amazing job with that. I was very happy with how it managed both the cyclist and uh, the vehicles on the road. So uh, an excellent end. So there you have it. Great finish to the drive. Uh, FSD was definitely in assertive mode today though. The acceleration on the auto speed adjust was relatively good. Uh, the abandoned left turn and the rerouting uh, was a definite first for me and really something that startled both my wife and myself. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. The overall behavior was positive, but as you can see, there's still some improvement to be had. Thanks again for watching. For you in the States, please enjoy your long weekend. You all drive safe and I'll see you on the roads.